Good day everyone, we have the Shiba Satellite L50-A and we want to do clean fan cleanings and disassembly. So remove the battery after removing two screws, remove the DVD player after one screw. In order to get access to all components, remove all the back panel screws, pretty much each one by one. Um, this model is pretty easy to open up, so just lift it up like that. Put a bit of a pressure because there's a lot of clips holding the back, the back panel in place. That's your internal components of the laptop. Disconnect the cable for the for the fan. Don't pull it out from the cable itself. That's going to damage the cable. Simply wiggle them from side to side and remove it. Uh, <clears throat> get the the removing cable for the switch out of the way. There's two screws for the fan unscrew that and you can simply lift it up but in this model or in a lot of models it's double it's taped on either side so i thought i would be able to remove the the fan simply by removing this tape but there's also another tape underneath the heatsink so i have to remove the entire heatsink once you lift it up there you go so there's another side tape as well so remove that tape and that will that will let the the fan loose and then you can simply clean it up but as you can see this fan is pretty pretty clean as you can tell but that's not the point most of the time when you open the laptop you not just if you've got a heating issues for instance you don't just remove the the dust from the fan and the vents but also you replace the thermal paste what happens is over time your thermal paste dries out and the conductivity between the the, the heat sink and the and the cpu or gpu reduces over time so that's why you get a lot of heating issues that heat kind of stacks inside your laptops and overheats everything all internal components not just your cpu but mostly cpu and gpu this this uh, ram uh, is pc3 l or ddr3l so the l is very important because if you just got ddr3 opposed to ddr3l a lot of time it wouldn't work so make sure first of all it's got to be matching module secondly on a lot of new laptops laptops post 2014 a lot of these laptops will take ddr3l so we're going to be upgrading the hard drive mechanical hard drive to ssd I got myself Evo 850 500B SSD. You can get it cheaply on eBay for about 120, 150 bucks. <clears throat> but also, we in, in Australia we've got a lot of local computer sh shops, as as every country does. But yeah, you can source it easily on eBay, whether it's your local computer supplier. Put back the bracket. <clears throat> it's very important you secure that, otherwise your hard drive will come loose causing all kinds of issues secure that put everything back in place and yeah just apply uh, your thermal paste evenly doesn't matter which brand as long as it's a nice one ideally if it's got to it's got to be gray 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 color thermal paste they, they give good conductivity the white one is pretty crap so put everything back back in place and yeah your job is pretty much done put your fan um connect that <clears throat> it's a good idea to put remember there was old tape that i removed it's a good idea if you've got a tape you can just replace the old tape uh that way there is no exit of heat internally so everything sort of taken out through events and out connect everything back together and that's it.